Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this one, I'm gonna teach you how odds work, how to calculate them and know really your bet size, what you're set to win and the functions of odds in general. So you can see I've got FanDuel loaded up, FanDuel Sportsbook. We've got more NBA games on and the odds, the way you calculate them or the way you know what they're saying basically or how much you're gonna win is the same for any sport. It doesn't matter what you're betting on generally. Racing, it might change, but of course, we cover that in our methods. If you want to get started making profit from sports betting with guaranteed income methods, go ahead and click the link in the description. Let's get into it. So you can see I've got the Indiana Pacers here and the Philadelphia 76ers. They've got a odds rating on the money line. If you don't know what a money line bet is, look in the description or go on our channel and check it out. They've got a money line odds of plus 265 for the Indiana Pacers. So simply put, what that means is if I bet $100 on Indiana Pacers, okay, I would get 365 if they win. That's because the odds are plus 265, okay? So you would get 100 plus 265. That is how you work out your return on a $100 bet because that's the easiest way to understand how it works. Of course, you don't need to bet $100. You can bet whatever you want. But based on a $100 bet, that is what you would get. It's just 100 plus the odds, effectively. Now, if you bet on the other team, you'll see that there's a minus number. Now, the minus number represents the favorite or the team that's most likely to win the match based on the odds. That's the Philadelphia 76ers, okay? So now there's a different scenario, and it's different because of the following. An odds of minus 320, that means you need to bet 320 to win $100. So you would need to bet $320 to win $100, okay? So your total return is $320 plus $100, okay? equals $420. In other words, you bet 320 and you win 100, so your total is 420 back. They give you back the 320 that you had bet already. So obviously a plus side number then represents the underdog or the team that's less likely to win, and that's why you need to bet less money to win $100, okay? And if you're betting on the minus side team, you need to bet more money to win $100. Okay, so that is how odds work in an American format. Really easy to understand, guys. Just to finish up, if it's a minus side number, that represents the favorite to win the match, okay, because it's more likely and you need to lay down more money to win $100. And the plus side number represents the underdog and the team that's less likely to win. Therefore, you need to bet less money to win $100 because there's a lower chance of that happening. And that's how odds work. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.